Hello and welcome to this session organized by the University of Oulu regarding one of the main offered international programs, International Business Management. With me, I have uh, Sakari and Ville. Can you please introduce yourselves? Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Sakari Sipula. I'm the head of the International Business Management program here at the University of Oulu Business School. Great to be here. Yes, and my name is Ville Saarenpää and I'm, I'm a master level student here in Oulu Business School. Okay, thank you for being here. Uh, I'm Juan Vasquez. I'm a computer science student and I will be hosting your questions today. Right. Okay, well, let's jump to that. Uh, well, let's start with uh, Sakari. What about uh, the generalities of the program? This program has, I can imagine, a big area of uh, opportunities and applications. So can you elaborate a little bit about the program uh, and, and what it is about? Sure, my pleasure. So the program covers the uh, quite big range of different type of companies from, from multinational companies, management and building and growing multinational companies and then smaller companies, even to entrepreneurial startups and these classic Silicon Valley type venture capital finance startups that aim to enter the market and challenge the existing big players. So we cover theories uh, and practicalities of how you manage companies, keep them innovative and going from both sides of this table, from the big existing company, incumbent company perspective and from the startup perspective. So it's quite broad area uh, of topics that we cover during the studies. studies. Okay, well, that sounds interesting. Okay, uh, Ville, from the student point of view, uh, how did you first hear about this program and how was uh, the process of deciding to enroll in this program in the University of Oulu? Yes, I was actually a curious individual, so I went to the pages and checked out what's available. And uh, I was finishing my studies in mechanical engineering, uh, master's level, and uh, just thought it might not be my thing in the end. So wow. <laughs> I started expanding my horizons and applied and I got in and here we are. <laughs> wow, that's quite a story. So you can change completely uh, your area. Well, expanding, not changing. Expanding, yes. yeah. And this is... If, if I may say, this is something we hope that we could see students with different types of previous bachelor study backgrounds and competencies. So we can use that as a, as a rich base that we can build on top of. So we have more dialogue, for example, in the classroom of when, we, when students can bring this. Not only the cultures, but also the different uh, background study experiences. Well, wow, that's really interesting. Okay, well, uh, Sakari, what will be... Uh, probably some of the uh, skills or background of the students that are going to the ones who enroll into this program. Uh, typically, they are. Uh, well, do you mean like uh, uh, in what, what sense? Could be could be uh, just background. You just mentioned obviously that mm -hmm. uh, it could be from different uh, different backgrounds and to build on top of those. Yeah. Uh, the requirements they can find the requirements on yeah. the uh, yeah basically you can find the requirements on the university website what 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 uh, previous uh, degree requirements you have and when you can apply you can apply in January and yeah. and, and all these kind of official processes how it goes but but in practice then we we see that your background conditions are in place so you are eligible for the studies then we want to see your motivation letter of then course. we read it and we in, invite the top applicants in so we see what their actual backgrounds is where they come from and how they could enrich the, the study experience for, for us, of course, as students, uh, for us as teachers, but of course, mainly for the students as well. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, okay, let's go back with Ville. Uh, how do you feel about all the courses you've taken? I understand you already finished all your courses, right? How, how, was, uh, how, how did you find all these courses? Yes, that is true. I just have my master's thesis left. So it's been a delightful journey. <laughs> A nice mixture, mixture of um, theoretical courses and a bit more practical ones. And, uh, as did, earlier, you, did you take courses from pos possibly other areas uh, to expand a little bit your profile as a, as a graduate student? Oh yes, uh, and as mentioned earlier, I previously did my studies in mechanical engineering here in Oulu. Yep. And uh, I also took a few extra courses from industrial engineering management. Okay. And it actually fits quite well with mm. international mm. business management especially if you want to make it a bit more practical. Yeah, and especially if you are looking into the entrepreneurial track, because oh, you yes. have capability to actually build something yes. in terms of your previous degree. And then we can 
build on top of that the knowledge we did related to management and, and entrepreneurship, etc. Yeah. So okay. So, so there's that. a good balance uh, mm -hmm. then uh, between theory and practice, right? It's not just not just theory. Did you have a practice also? Did you get a chance to probably work in real world uh, applications or projects? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Uh, about the theoretical background, you need it in order to be able to build on it. So first some theory, then some practice. Uh, on some courses, there were projects for different companies. Uh, and for example, done a brand audit, and we were developing a new product or solution for our local company here. And uh, these kind of activities. And currently, I'm actually working at the university as a business developer. Oh, one project. So mm. that is. Oh, so that's really cool. <laughs> that's an example of how how basically the idea is that we empower the students with theories, and the purpose of the theories is to figure out that what questions to ask for in the in the context of practice. So that's a kind of a nice example of that, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's really cool. Actually, it is related to uh, my next question, which is regarding the career opportunities for a graduate from this program. Uh, could you elaborate, like, what could be the possible opportunities or titles, possibly, if that's important? Yeah, that's some. Maybe the titles are not as as important as such, but we what we see and when we've been tracking our graduates, we see they go into. Uh, of course, I think the one way to answer it is also that in the second year. Uh, of the program, you can choose the courses and uh, specialize on certain topics. Mm -hmm. And this is, of course, then something when what we see in graduates, that if you are, you know, some go into existing big companies, be traditional, uh, traditionally in IBM, you can go, for example, into consultant track, be, be it in the big, big five consulting firms, or you go into banking sectors, traditional multinational companies, but many also, and maybe increasingly people also go into these younger growing companies and even to start up, some become entrepreneurs as well. Okay, well, that's really interesting and really uh, promising for the potential students. Yeah, and one maybe thing to say, final thing to say to that is that the students no need, no, do not need to worry so much about what my actual title is to what I will graduate. You will you will go go into the into the work life and then you will specialize and apply your theoretical knowledge there and that's kind of the next step of the learning after your studies. Yeah, it's a process, continuous learning, as, yeah. as we all know. Excellent, thank you. So well, we talk about studies, we talk about academic, professional life. What about the student life around the studies, like activities, parties? How was your overall experience now that you're almost finished with your master's uh, as a student living in Oulu? Yes, I think that is actually one of my favorite things here in Oulu. The student culture is really rich. It depends what you're interested in. Uh, for example, if you want to party, you go to guild activities mostly. Uh, if you're interested in self-development and entrepreneurship, you go to Oulu Entrepreneurship Society. If you are interested in board games, there's an association of that. Um, if you want to build a race car, you can do that also here with the Formula Student Oulu. Um, there's a student radio called Ratto Radio. <laughs> so all kinds of opportunities. That's all. Do you belong to any guilds? Oh, yes. I'm actually a member of two guilds. Two guilds? Yes. Uh, first to the mechanical engineering one, where I'm an alumni member. And then for the business students, finance. Okay, well, my new so studies. there's always mm. something to do. <laughs> yes. Certainly. Okay. Well, uh, finally, any final suggestions to the potential applicants, possibly from a student's point of view? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, if you are thinking of applying, just do it. Because uh, you don't lose anything, it might change your life. Wow, excellent suggestion. Well, thank you both, thank you both for being here. Uh, and thank you, everyone for this session uh, hopefully this will help you to uh, start your career path in University of Oulu and I'll see you at the next one.